The second thing I have is a personal stove system. Um, this is a um, MSR wind burner. Um, I'll take it out of the bag and show you, but um, this is a much better um, stove for like if you're going into like alpine areas or if you're going uh, camping because it's got like a wind guard on the bottom, which I'll show you. Um, this weighs uh, about 600 grams. Um, and um, this one here, um, I tend to use those small 110 gram um, gas bottles on them, whereas my other cook head, I can I use the larger sizes with it. So, so we'll break these both down and we'll have a look at them, um, and then you can just basically see what's in there. So um, this is my MSR wind burner um, kit that I have, and so what I have is I have the cooker. I have a um, collapsible cup, um, a brew bag just like with the other kit, um, cutlery set, um, ignition so I've got a lighter and a piezo igniter there and chucks clock it, cloth as I have um, and everything else. Um, inside the burner is the burner head itself um, and also a gas bottle and I'll take that out and show you in a minute. Um, the MSA wind burner is a um, one litre um, uh, aluminium pot um, with a burner head that attaches to like a gas canister um, and there's a small bowl on the bottom here which I'll show you um, and then it's also got like a stand for the gas canister uh, and so the advantage with these is that on the bottom they have a special system for um, protecting the flame from a from the wind and uh, obviously from the name wind burner um, and they also have like a um, heating conducting system on the bottom that I'll show you that conducts the heat much better so um, it heats the water much faster and uh, and it's just a much more efficient stove. So the wind burner will work with all three sizes of uh, gas canister so your 450, 330 and your 110 um, you can only get a 110 inside of the um, actual kit itself uh, and so that's what I tend to do um, and so you know what I would normally do is I take uh, a one full bottle in here and then maybe a half bottle or a full bottle depending on the trip length um, two 110 gram gas canisters would be good to last you for like maybe four to five days it depends how many times you boil um, or you cook your dinner with it so but it's much more efficient so it uses gas better um, I'll just break the kit down into individual pieces so you can see what you have so um, you have the um, uh, pot itself um, there's a, a lid on the top and the lid's got a strainer and it's also got a drinking um, uh, um, spot so you can actually drink out of that and then you have a um, gas canister stand um, that goes on the bottom of the gas canister. You have the burner head itself. Um, and then in the pot you have uh, your gas canister. There's a um, piece of cloth supplied with the kit that goes on the bottom of the canister to protect it from scratches. Uh, and then on the bottom here you have a um, wee plastic pot that you can eat your food in. It's got measuring um, numbers down the side so you know you can use it as a cup. So in fact you don't need to have an extra cup for this. You could just use this as your cup, your bowl. Yeah. Um, as you can see the um, lid fits onto the pot so you can actually use that. There's a lot on the pot as well. It's the same size. Um, I've got the gas canister um, stands fitted to a gas bottle and so there's fittings on there for those um, uh, 330ml, 450ml and 110ml uh, gas bottles. Um, the pot has a um, piece of canvas on the outside so you can hold onto it. It's got a handle so that you can hold onto it at the side. Yeah, um, decent way of holding onto it that way. So you can see on the bottom of this pot there's a heat exchanger that um, more efficiently exchanges the heat around it. Um, and then it's got um, gaps around here for the air to come through um, but the wind um, light can't get through very well. And so this is like a really excellent slow for um, alpine areas or if it's very windy, um, almost impossible to put it out. 
um, just have to be a wee bit careful of the cup um, part of it, the pot, because it's actually anodised aluminium, so um, when you clean it, you have to clean it with those special blue scratchy pads. Um, you can't clean it with like a stilo or a brush or anything, you'll just scratch it to bits. Um, on the inside, you may be able to see there's um, uh, measuring uh, points, um, so you can actually measure out the amount of water that you need. Um, the cup holds 20 ounces or one litre, 28 ounces, sorry, one litre of water, um, and it normally would um, heat a litre of water in around about two and a half minutes, um, so that's way faster. My other stove, that fire maple stove, that normally takes about four minutes to um, heat up a litre of water or 1.3 litres of water, so yeah. Yeah, really efficient stove. So there's numerous different brands of these uh, personal stoves. Um, there's the MSR one burner, um, you've got your jet boils, um, you have ones that are put out by Primus, um, and then there's some other um, smaller companies that put them out as well. Um, range in price from in New Zealand from $200 up to $400 depending on what kind of kit you're going. Um, Karen bought me this for Christmas last year. Um, this this beast actually costs like $300 <laughs> from hunting and fishing. So yeah, I'd wanted one for a long time, but you know, I mean, that's pretty rich for me. Like I feel funny about spending $300 on a stove, but you know, if it's a gift, I, I figure that's fine. Yeah, so. Um, I've used it a couple of times now, um, uh, yeah, um, I still tend to take that other kit with me because it's just, um, I just find that volume, that 1.3 litres of hot water is much more useful to me than 1 litre, but I'll certainly be using this over um, the future. How the kit works, um, you um, connect the burner head to the canister, you have to make sure you flick this out before you connect it um, because it uh, folds in underneath and then you just basically um, connect your canister like so. Uh, your pot when you want to go use it just basically fits to the top and there's like a wee lug system that you basically fit them together um, very secure um, it's got a really fine control on the um, gas adjuster here uh, and just like my other kit um, this doesn't have a piezo with it so you actually have to light it with a lighter or a um, separate piezo unit this is what I use to light the stove um, uh, bit quieter is the easiest thing or the other thing I have is this wee MSR PZO um, what basically happens is when you push the button on the end there's a wee spark uh, and that will um, set the gas alight so I'll just turn the gas on and we'll just have a go and just to show you lighter So that's the unit burning. Um, it's got a good feature there. You might be able to see there's a um, wire that goes across the top of the burner head and when it's burning it lights up so you can actually see that it's going. And the advantage with this thing is the burner head is huge. So um, it heats that water up super, super fast. I mean efficiency of gas use and the speed that it heats things are the main reason you use one of these little personal stove systems. Yeah. And then uh, we'll just turn that off. Yeah, so that's really excellent. And some of the other items that I use with this cook kit, um, the cutlery set is the same from my other kit. I just transfer them from one to the other. Um, I'm in the process of buying a separate cook kit just for this um, burner. Um, my um, brew kit, so my um, Chanui Earl Grey tea bags and my Splendor. Um, just the chucks cloth again, just to use as a, um, a towel for drying the pot out. And um, the cup I have for this is a collapsible Cedar Summit um, mug. And so what you do is you can just push the um, mug out 
and then that's like a 400 gram uh 400 mil mug um the advantage with that is that because it folds down flat it fits on top of this burner really well like i i normally stick it on top of the burner in the uh, carry bag yeah and then it's quite hard to put down sometimes the easiest way is just to do that yeah cool so the advantage of that cup is that um, it folds down into a circle about maybe 10 centimeters across uh, and it's about maybe a centimeter and a half high and um, when I pack everything up it just packs on top of my stove really well um, you know it's just another way of saving some space that's why that kit's so so much smaller than that blue bag yeah packing the kit up is the opposite of taking it to pieces so um, you start off with the pot make sure the cloths on the bottom and you put your gas bottle in upside down and then the um, gas uh, the burner head fits in and um, you can see it's slightly curved so it fits on top of the um, gas canister and then you just fold the um, legs in on your gas canister stand and then that fits on the top and keeps everything in place and then you've got your uh, lid for the top the uh, bowl on the bottom and there you go that's all packed up and then um, you just pack it into the bag um, I'll just pack it into the bag so I have a old bread bag that I use as a rubbish bag um, and I stick that the cocker into it just for a bit of extra um, waterproofing and then that goes into the um, yellow bag that the whole kit fits in um, the cup goes on top and then the um, accessories just fit in where you can find space and then you just basically fold your bag up yeah so um, quite a, a small little package um, obviously the thing with this is because you can't get a bigger gas canister into the um, cocker itself you actually have to carry a spare gas canister uh, if you're going for more than like a day so you know that does add a wee bit of space and weight to your pack um, but it's not outrageous yeah um, good cook of that one so that's my two cook kits um, let's talk about uses um, so the uh, MSR wind burner ideal for alpine areas um, places where it's windy camping um, so that um, the wind protection device on the bottom and the heat exchanger come into their own there um, my um, usual cook kit with the Tokes 1.3 litre pot and the um, fire maple titanium cooker um, that's the one that I take 90% of the time um, basically uh, multi-use the only thing it's not so good in a windy condition um, so it's it's probably not ideal for camping uh, and if you were like in a high alpine area or um, on like a windy pass then it wouldn't be very good for that um, gas canisters again uh, both of them will work on all three sides of gas canisters um, they'll use any brand of gas both of them uh, the uh, wind burner you can only fit a one point uh, sorry 110 gram canister of gas into the actual cooker itself um, the tokes pot you can put a 330 gram um, canister of gas in there uh, and that's really good uh, and then obviously if you were going for longer you would just carry your big 450 gram gas canister separately um, and then they wouldn't be in these two pots um, yeah uh, let's talk specs so um, the um, the uh, MSR wind burner uh, that whole kit weighs 600 grams with the gas bottle um and six six i think it's like 648 something like that the um tokes pot in the and the um fire maple titanium stove um that's um just over 700 grams um there's a much bigger gas canister in here which adds about at least an extra 150 grams to the weight so if you are only carrying a small gas canister this the weight of this is only going to be about around about 600 grams so really there's not a huge amount of difference in the two of them um, you know um, 
So that's the two main cookers that I use when I go out tramping. Um, I have other ones. I've actually got seven stoves at the moment. Um, and then I've also used um, I've also used hex and wine tablets, uh, alcohol stoves in the past. Um, I don't currently use them. These are the two that I use. Um, if I was going out on a group trip with um, Karen, I've got a um, much bigger Covia stove, a Covia um, a moon walker which is one of those ones that sits on the table flat and then it's got a, a hose that connects to the gas bottle uh, that's much better because then I've got like a separate set of pots that just go with that cooker uh, and you know if there's two of us going you're looking at much bigger meals yeah uh, so uses of the two pots um, the toast pot and the fire maple, um, you can use that for boiling water and actually cooking meals. Um, the pot's big enough for doing that. The um, MSR wind burner is much better for boiling uh, water. And so this one here you would primarily use with um, fresh dried meals or dried meals like couscous, things like that. Uh, hot drinks. This one here you can use for everything. Um, the uh, stove on the MSR one burner, you can't use anything like a frying pan or a bigger pot on top um, without a special adapter that fits on the top to put some um, space between the burner head and the bottom of the pot. <coughs> uh, this one, uh, the fire maple, it's a s small burner but you can put frying pans on top and much bigger pots. Um, it just accepts those on top. So yeah, so that's the difference. Yeah, so you could use that for anything. Uh, that thing there, you're mostly boiling water. There's a look at my main two cook kits. Um, take from this what you will. Um, this is just what I use. I don't necessarily recommend it to anyone. Um, but you know, I've, I've, I've found these kits work for me over the last like five years. Yeah, so...